All right, Buenos Dias, keep on so you guys, John's Moto Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Super stoked today. Finally, I'm going to go for an inaugural ride here on the Indian FTR 1200 carbon fiber trim. This thing, to be honest, is a stunning motorcycle, especially in person. Definitely catches the eye. This carbon fiber is quite beautiful. Obviously, my least favorite part about this motorcycle happens to be this anti wheelie bar here. I think we'll be able to get over that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on the Indian. Oh man, and just like that, we are off. I've been itching to ride this motorcycle. So just a quick recap, Indian Motorcycles sent this bike out to me as a basically loaner bike. Said I could keep it for a couple weeks, maybe a month or so, see how it see how it does. And when they hit me up, I had my pick of any of their motorcycles, any of the fleet. I could have done the Challenger, could have done the Chief Bobber, any of those bikes, or Scout Bobber rather. And I had to go with the FTR 1200 for a couple reasons. For one, this bike was just screaming my name you know if anybody's been following me for a while you know i'm all about this style of motorcycle but for two i thought you know what if they send me a bike and i totally botch it and drop the ball and screw this up then they may not send me another motorcycle and so of all the bikes i ever demoed this is the one that always left me wanting a little bit more because when you demo ride a bike of this caliber you're barely scratching the surface you don't really get a tap into the sole of the motorcycle to really understand what it's all about and now that I have it in my own hands, that's exactly what I intend to do. So this is my inaugural ride. I'm just going to be basically forming an opinion of the motorcycle, getting to feel and understand and know the bike, become one with the motorcycle, if you will. Look at this, 92 miles per hour. This thing is just a breeze. Got a little bump here, we'll test the suspension. Woo! Now, for the record, I'm no professional racer. I'm definitely just a Joe Schmo. Now, I actually took this bike out last Sunday. My audio wasn't working on the GoPro, so all of that footage, sadly, had to be scrapped. So this isn't technically my first time ever on the bike. It's my second time really messing around on it. It's almost a little deceptive how, uh, <laughs> how fast this bike is, because you don't feel like you're going super fast and then you look down and you're hitting like, you know, 90 miles per hour. All right, there we go. She will pop up on one wheel. I want to try standard and see how we do popping a wheelie in standard mode. Well, there's no question the bike will pop up on one wheel, that's for sure. I would, I will have to, like many bikes, take some time to really uh, understand the nuances of this particular bike really get comfortable with this bike, but it's doable Oh my gosh oh. Woo! Crazy bike Hard brake hard brake I'm loving these brakes man. These things seem quite dialed. picked the uh, sketchiest road to do that on but it wasn't even a top speed run it was just a scary run but i think i got up to 130 or so and and i will say this is a private party uh private party private closed course Yeah, this bike's freaking fast, man. <laughs> this thing is wild. Wild. 
this bike seems to have a very manageable power that you can actually use and tap into almost like a confidence instilling you know it kind of gives you confidence makes you feel possibly like a, a much better rider than you really are so that could be a bad thing i suppose oh geez okay forming an opinion on this motorcycle uh technically two rides in and after my initial ride that didn't get filmed my thought walking away from this was wow this is a bike that while powerful you know it's got the performance and the handling and everything it's a very manageable bike a very manageable bike and a bike that instills confidence those were the big things that i walked away from and also thought i honestly had a blast on the bike it left me really wanting to ride it more and the more i look at the bike especially photos of it I've always been a fan of the look of it, the flat track style. And so it's a really cool bike in that regard. And then the other thing that I thought honestly was it's like a really gnarly beefed up Honda Grom, but all the good things about a Honda Grom, a Honda Grom, I've always said it's fun. The Honda Grom is a bike that you can really push it. You know, you can really be gnarly on the Honda Grom. You can learn stuff, you can be crazy on it. You know, you can do a lot on the Honda Grom um, that you aren't able to do with you know say a super sport or something like that and this bike it's got gnarly impressive horsepower and torque specs and you know zero to 60 and everything it's got all that but for some reason it doesn't freak me out like a lot of other motorcycles with similar specs i really don't know what it is that makes that the case with this bike i really don't oh disgusting i think that's a dead wrap now stay tuned i'll do as i get more seat time on this bike i'll do a more comprehensive ride review maybe do some comparisons you know uh it takes more than one or two rides to really get a good feel and get to know a motorcycle but all that stuff to come on john's moto garage thanks for tuning in glad to get this inaugural ride out of the way because man fun fun bike so far hopefully i haven't done anything that will tarnish my reputation with indian motorcycles thanks again to you guys for sending this out like and subscribe if you guys dig the content drop a comment below let me know what you think what has your experience been with the ftr 1200 is this a bike that's been on your radar is it a bike you would consider getting let me know below and we'll catch you guys on the next one adios Nos vemos. put it back into sport mode just kind of play around a little bit and see what we can do bike has like a rocket a rocket mode like a rocket mode button where you're cruising but once i don't know what the rpms are at but once you hit a certain rpm it just freaking bam